All right, so we've seen some cooler air work its way in, giving us some very fall like weather here across central Texas. Takes a while for fall to settle in across the southern US. Big dip in the jet stream. Check that out. Upper level low swim swing in there. You see that counterclockwise swirl around the Great Lakes. It'll continue to lift off. We're tra already tracking our next disturbance working through the jet stream, moving out of the Gulf of Alaska into British Columbia will eventually make its way down the plains and cool us off. Big cool off as we go Friday, linger into Saturday. I'll show you the seven day here in a second. See how cool we could get high pressure and control across the plains. Again, jet stream diving in from the northwest to the southeast, giving us a northerly to northwestern flow here. You can see the surface winds are out of the north, keeping us cool here today. Only staying really in the lower to mid 70s. We're actually below average uh, for the day. Don't get to say that often. Uh, more uh, seasonable number would be 77 degrees. We'll be back around that tomorrow. Winds are still sustained 15 to 25 miles per hour across the region. We have had gusts around 30, still some gusts around 30 out there. Winds will start to really relax here in just the next couple of hours. By late evening, we'll see them more 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear skies, light winds allow that radiational cooling to really take place. But those north winds have really brought in some cooler, drier air. Dew points in the 20s, very dry air out there. Haven't seen air this dry since early last spring. It's going to allow temperatures to fall down into the lower 40s. I think we'll squeeze in some upper 30s in some areas. See 39 down there in Lano. We'll have to watch some of those low lying sheltered areas could squeeze out a couple of upper 30s for us. So chilly start, but we do warm back up. We'll see upper 70s and lower 80s mixing together with more blue skies and sunshine tomorrow. As we head late week, it'll be late Thursday night that we'll see this front move through, setting us up for a pretty chilly day as we go into Friday. Winds behind this front are going to be on the gusty side, 15 to 25 sustain. I likely think we'll see winds gusting anywhere from 30 to 35, maybe even over that at a time Friday morning. But again, cooler air is definitely going to be filtering in with this front. The coolest blast again that we've seen so far this fall. The Gulf moisture is going to take some time to return again with the front that we saw Sunday and the front we saw yesterday has really dried us out here. Gulf moisture is going to try to return, but it looks like it'll be a little bit on the late side. It could get back to around the Brazos Valley talking dew points in the upper 50s, maybe some lower 60s. So I really think the best rain chances as far as anywhere in our viewing area would go would be College Station and areas off towards the south. Along the Gulf Coast, Houston, they'll likely see some showers and then areas back to Louisiana and Arkansas will be able to see some of that moisture return. So this is going to be another dry front for us, but it's certainly going to be a cold and check out the seven day here. We do warm up out ahead of our next front. Temperatures wanting to move back into the 80s, looking for some good compressional heating there on Thursday and then temperatures in the 60s. I think some areas will be in the 50s. There's still some hints that maybe we could even not even get out of the 50s, but right now I'm keeping what? us. I'm keeping us <laughs> in the lower 50s right now, guy or the lower 60s, but there will be likely some areas <laughs> off in our northern area counties that stay in the 50s and look at that. We're going to get a couple mornings where we're going to see temperatures dropping down into the upper 30s. 85 down to 60. You love that? I mean, my sinuses don't love that, but <laughs> I do love that. I know it's just dry air. It's taking me a little bit to change. I'm, a I'm kinda, you know, my, my arms are a little dry here. I'm getting a little flaky. I know you don't like that, but it's okay. It's not contagious or anything like that. <laughs> I'm clean. I'm sure they make a cream for that. They though. do. It's called lotion. <laughs> there you go. Coming up next. <laughs>